we're going to do this in two rounds. All right. First, we're going to start with our JFAG Foster Award. And um, in order to get that started, I wanted to invite up Marcus Doherty to come up and say something uh, about JFAG Foster and uh, the role that uh, he plays in our department's ceremony. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, I am here to kind of set the stage and read a just a quick little biography of uh, JFAG Foster, somebody who was very, very important to this department. Um, so without further ado, John Fag Foster was born September 6th, 1907 in Blue Ridge, Texas. He had two sisters and one brother. His father, William Thomas Foster, was a real estate developer and educator, and his mother, Mary Ann Foster, uh, yeah, Mary Ann Fag, excuse me, was a housewife. Professor Foster attended elementary and secondary schools in Dallas. He was awarded a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1935 from East Texas State College and a Master of Education degree um, from, in 1935 from East Texas State College. And in 1945, he also graduated from uh, University of Texas at Austin with a PhD in economics. Um, he went on to Kenyon College in Ohio to work at the, uh, and uh, he, he went on to teach at Kenyon College in Ohio, work at the Federal Public Housing Authority in Cleveland, at the Office of Economic Warfare, and at the Federal Wage Stabilization Board. Although classified as an essential uh, employee in World War II, he was successful in enlisting in the Army and served until the end of the war in 1945, choosing to be an enlisted person rather than an officer but he was most interested in academic life. In courses at the University of Texas, notably those taught by R.H. Montgomery, Edward Everett Hale, and especially Clarence Ayers, he began to become aware and to be interested in the world of ideas. This world was to be his life. Although he was later reinstated during his early years in academia, Foster was dismissed from the University of Texas in a controversy arising when he and two colleagues asked to speak in favor of the Fair Labor Standards Act at a meeting in Dallas. Upon receiving his PhD from the University of Texas after being reinstated in economics, um, he became a professor at the University of Denver in Denver, Colorado, where he was to spend the rest of his life. Here, he married Gladys Parker in 1950. They had three children. Professor Foster decided to become an economist because he judged that economics was the discipline in which the most serious theoretical thinking had occurred and was directed to the most fundamental practical problem of human understanding. Professor Foster defined economics as the study of how the means of life and experience are provided. He spent his career trying to replace misunderstandings of human behavior that contaminate economic theory and practice, as well as scientific inquiry at large. In his three decades at the University of Denver between 1946 and 1976, he taught generations of students his in in institutional interpretation of political economy. Foster's comparative historical approach to the study of economics influenced countless students with enthusiasm for the world of ideas. Students and professors alike gathered in his office and at his lectures, as well as his home on social occasions, to try and understand what the world was about. Although Professor Foster retired from DU in 1976 and passed away in 1985, his legacy continues. His ideas still make an impact on the current generation of students in economics. Thank you very much.